welcome back everybody from way north of the 49th parallel it is beaverworks diecast racing and their buddies over at the igloo proven grounds next special presentation this time of the stone road challenge oh yeah green light m2 special check out the big fat rubber tires we got going down the stone road all 56 centimeters of rock logs and fun stone road vehicles Green light, 1978 Ford F-250. From the All-Terrain Series 10, this thing is awesome looking. Green light does excellent looking castings. It's heavy and it is long with a long wheelbase. Let's see how it does. M2 Machines, 1973 Chevrolet K5. From the Square Body 3-pack, not sure if this was a Walmart special or not, but it was still awesome. Look at this thing. It is heavy and long and way jacked up on them rubbers. See how it does. Stone Road, first run. Run number one, guest driver is Steve from Team Sticka Steve. Let's see how he does. All right, that K5 is on top of the rocks. He is going fast. That thing is flying through the logs, over the end, smashes into the rocks at the end. That was a beauty run with a 6.09. I think that's one of the fastest times we've had on this track. Look at him coming over top of there. Couldn't even slow down at the end. Uses the rock to stop. That's common in 4 by 4 ing Nice job from the top down. Listen to that. Boom, right into that tire trailer. Great job, Igloo Replay. Let's see how he's handling this. That is an ain't care run. If I've ever seen it, he is just full blast. He got lucky on top of them rocks and is just jumping and bouncing and loving it right out the end. What an awesome time. That's one of the fastest runs we've seen. Good stuff. Comes out with a time of 6.09 on a full pole. Stone Road, second run. Bring out the Ford. We've got driver Farmer Dave from Team Dave's Farm. Run number two, going down in the Ford F-250 before jacked up there. Look at him go. This is the green light. He's not quite as fast and slowing down on the logs, almost over top of the line, and he makes it. He's with a 9.68 time. Not the fastest we've seen, but still was able to make it to the bottom. Slowed down a little bit there at the end. Checking out the bottom replay from the bottom up here's from the top down chasing them all the way down there good solid run just gotta get the speed igloo replay checking out the start he's out good that thing is still up on top of the rocks not too bad good long real base he kind of dug in a little bit there the front tire slowed him down a little bit throwing rocks has some problems getting up on the uh, asphalt there, going through the log, slows him down just a little bit. Doesn't have the top end speed that the Chevy did, but still inches it over top of the line there at the end. Good job, Farmer Dave, with a time of 9.68 in the Ford F-250. All right, first round results. We've got a 6.09 in that K5 Chevy, which is going to get it by a few seconds over top of that Ford. You can check that out. Both of them get a full pull. That's a good sign. All right. Beaverworks International Chaos Canyon's got their rally 2021 still going on down there. Beaverworks is represented in their Audi. Doing the road course this time. Get down there and check that out. And Norm and Vern Racing fellow Canadians up here with the uh, Kenny P Raceway doing a 50 foot long straight drag out front of the house. Get down there and check that out. Link is in the description. Stone Road, third run. Here we go, Steve from Team Sticker Steve inside of that big K5 Chevy. Here he goes. Second run and he is like first time up on top of it and going almost up on two wheels, plows through the logs and is on the binders before he hits the rock at the end. Nice, seven second time and didn't bend the bumper. Look at that. All right, look at that on the bottom up. Good run from the top down. Looks awesome, good straight line, right up on two wheels and still gets it back down. That's enough to get the nerves a pumping when you're flying down that stone road. Let's check it out on the 
replay. Slow-mo, you can see coming up right here, right up on the side, digs right in, brings her back. There's some driver's skill from Stick of Steve. And down at the bottom, brings it to a stop before the rock this time. Nicely done. Seven second time for that K5 4x4. Stone Road, fourth run. Here we go, last run of the day. Second run for Farmer Dave from Dave's Farm in that Ford F-250 4x4. Going down, it is digging in already. He's got it revved out, but it is just sinking. He is still up on top of it. Almost, he's still going. Almost loses it in the logs. What a trooper! Comes through the end with a 13.8086, something like that. Either way, almost gets hung up in the rocks, almost gets hung up in the logs, still makes it through. Nicely done from the top down, bottom up cams. And here he is on the igloo slow mo. Check out where he digs in there, just about loses all the momentum. Still just keeps it matted. Just giving her. That is farm boy mentality for you there. Non-stop, still got it, coming down. Gets up onto the asphalt there. Kind of jams right into the wrong line on the logs, but stubborn old Ford doesn't care. Just gets into it and digs its way right through. Makes it down over the line. He's gonna make it. Might be not be the best time, but he's still got there. 13.87 was the time. And that's going to wrap it up for this edition of the Stone Road special one that it was. Green light goes up against the M2 and the M2 comes out on top. Driver Steve from Team Sticker Steve getting a 6.09 best time in that M2 machines. Ford F250 still did a great job with Farmer Dave. All right, now it's your time to participate, friends. Grab that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, even leave us a comment if you like. We would muchly appreciate it. Beaverworks shoutouts this week, Chaos Canyon, and the Diecast Racing News. This is a good way to find out all of the good stuff that's been going on over the past couple of weeks. They do a great job. Breadline Derby Racing, organizing your event. Come on over to these guys. They have got all the resources you need. And... Most of all, thank all of you folks for watching our stuff from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We'll see you next time.